Good morning, it's Deb Watson, and in this quick lesson, we're going to do a note card. You notice I've traced everything but the moon with graphite paper, and I have soaked my paper so that this is completely wet, but there's no standing water. Most of this card will be done with just two colors. Learning to mix two colors gives you a lot of experience with watercolor. The first is cobalt blue, and the second is transparent pyrrole orange. These are right from the tube, and I'm putting it on the wet paper, starting in the left corner. I want to try to keep the top of the landscape on the right for the orange. If you mix the blue and the orange, it's going to make a brown or blue-gray. So I don't want them to mix that much, just a little bit. And you can see I grabbed a spray bottle. See the bubbles? That wasn't water. I actually grabbed a spray bottle of window cleaner. And I thought about it a minute and I figured what the heck it may not make any difference. It's a note card anyway, not a painting. So I only have a little bit of the orange and I'm putting some of the blue at the bottom. When you first work wet on wet, your color may run everywhere. But if you keep at it, you're going to realize how much paint and how much water you need to have on your brush. And then I use tilting. I tilt the board. You can see the wet paper sticks right to that board. The backboard is a piece of cardboard and it's covered with contact paper. And I get a much smoother blend with tilting my paper and no brush strokes. I'm also putting a little bit of the blue down here. Um, cobalt blue, it works really well in snowscapes. It gives you these beautiful soft looks. Okay, the next step, once you're happy with your colors, is to cut a stencil the size you want and use Mr. Clean's Magic Eraser to lift up most of the color. You don't want it to go back to white. Moons aren't white. And I'm going for a really big moon. I dried it to set the color. And now I'm re-wetting it. And I'm going to dab in here. I'm using a tiny bit of yellow. Did you see that? That's lemon yellow. And the orange. To suggest some of the moon detail. Now, where the bottom of the trees sit in the snow it's going to be like a, a little curve with a little bit of dark above it. And then I'm using a thirsty brush to lift most of that back off the top. I wet the top, I put the paint on, and I lifted most of it back up. Next, I'm going to paint the tree branches with the orange and blue mix and I want it completely dry. I don't want my tree branches fuzzing out. Mixing orange and blue, whether you use pyrrole orange or burnt sienna, it makes beautiful combinations of colors. And you don't have to paint every limb the same value and shape. Some could be blue, some could be brown, some could be light, some can be dark. You could use a liner or a rigger brush instead of your regular brush or even your watercolor pencils. But this is a moody little painting and it makes a very nice card. Now, I didn't get very much orange down there at the bottom. It kind of faded out. 
So I'm going to re-wet that area very carefully without touching the branch. And starting at the bottom, where it's almost dry, I'm just touching it in with a little bit of those two colors. And that will suggest a distant tree line. And it's growing a little more than I want. So I'm going to lift the edge of that and put my masking tape roll under there. Holding it upright, gravity will keep the trees in place. So that's pretty much it. I try spattering some white with my toothbrush, which just gives me tiny spatters. So I use my watercolor brush and tap it on my finger for bigger spatters. The last thing I did was I wanted to have deckled edges, so I used my deckled edge scissors to trim around it and double-sided tape to put it on the front of the note card. This really makes a lovely card and it gives you lovely practice. So I hope you enjoy it and thank you for watching.